So we all have the ability to use creativity and to use this creative energy to our advantage to be able to explore ideas and manifest the intangibles in our mind and to use our imagination to immerse ourselves down different paths and basically a way to grow and a way to learn more about ourselves and more about how we can tap into a specific art or an interest of ours to share with the world and to endeavor down some path to figure more things out, to understand more and to become more aware. And creativity is so powerful because of that. And in reading Maslow, he talks about how the ability to attain this creativity can be inhibited by basic needs and by deficiencies. And so if you're constantly trying to feel safe, to feel loved, to feel accepted, then this will sort of stop you from being able to be creative and to use that creative energy because you are trying, because you are fearful. You have a sort of lack of, of well-being. And he says that perhaps more important, however, there was a lack of fear of their own insides, of their own impulses, emotions, and thoughts. They were more self-accepting than the average. This approval and acceptance of their deeper selves then made it more possible to perceive bravely the real nature of the world and also made their behavior more spontaneous, less controlled, less inhibited, less planned, less willed, and less designed. And I think this is so powerful because what he's saying is that in self-actualizing people and people that don't have the deficiencies, they don't have to put energy and time towards trying to feel accepted and safe and have their basic needs met. And so they can tap into this creative energy and use it for their own creative purposes, their own enjoyment, their own, you know, whatever they choose to use that creativity for. And so basically one of the main points is that in feeling and, and knowing that you accept yourself, you can then you can then grow, you can then change, and you can then tap into this creative energy and use it for whatever means you choose to. But it's when you don't have those basic needs met that you're spending your time and energy in trying to feel whole. And so often people who do not accept who they are and they are sort of deficiency motivated, they're world is sort of external they're not accepting and they're not really aware of their deeper selves and so they try and attain this satisfaction and this gratification from the outside world and from external stimulus in order to feel better about themselves internally and so they're in a constant sort of compulsive cycle of trying to do things to make them feel good inside to make them feel whole inside instead of connecting with their deeper selves, accepting who they are, and then feeling the wholeness from that presence, from that being, and from that sort of self-actualization, that realization that you are whole and that you don't need anything besides yourself, that you already are whole. And from there, you can tap into that, cre that creativity, that creative energy, and grow and learn and explore because you're no longer deficiency motivated and you're no longer trying to fill those voids.